Events have a way of changing plans, and quickly. By now, I'm sure you know that Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed on Friday. Well, to say it mildly, on a scale of 1 to 10, RBG's death ramps up the uncertainty of the election and economic stimulus to an 11. That, along with fears of a resurgence of coronavirus across various European nations and the increasing chatter of another round of lockdowns, was the cherry on the top of today's de-risking, which meant sell, sell, sell. So, let's take a look at the charts and see what's changed. And today we're going to look at two charts, beginning here with the two-year weekly on the VIX, looking at stockcharts.com. And the symbol in the upper left, as you can see, is dollar sign VIX. Again, two-year weekly. And we've talked about this a number of times. We saw the basing here in early August, and then the move in late August, early September, up to this point here. Now, the close today was 27.78. And the problem is I was waiting to see if this was going to come back down here into, say, the mid-lower 20 range before it headed back up. But if you look here at the lower part of the chart, you can see that the fast line came down, bottomed, headed up to the slow line, did not pass through. They went sideways. They're near the zero line. And when they're near the zero line, almost anything can happen, as we've seen. So... I'm not sure if this is going to get reflected back down or it's going to stay here and continue to move in parallel, the fast line and the slow line in parallel, moving along here. And if that's the case, anything can happen. So expect the unexpected. Back up here to the chart, I am thinking that the chart at least should hopefully come down. But again, the news from Friday into this week, we can continue on up very easily. So it's a very dangerous time. So be cautious. Let's now go to our charts. And so now we're looking at the spiders, the SPY. And to be consistent with the VIX chart we just looked at, we're looking at the two-year weekly on the spiders. And we talked about uh, the topping here and the possibility of it coming on down here and perhaps reflecting and on up. No matter what it does, if it reflects back up or if it comes further down, we're in a dangerous position. But right now we're sitting on that 20 EMA, so almost anything can happen. So be prepared. Moving down here, volume's not going to tell us much. Here in the MAC, the MAC turned and the fast line closed in on that slow line very quickly. It can easily continue on down. But being that the fast line is above the slow line, there's also the possibility that it can reflect on up. I'm still sticking with the reflection back up, but I'm prepared if the market continues on down. Here into the histogram, that was a very steep move, and that can continue. We did get a reflection in the price rate of change, but didn't help much. Relative strengths at that 50 or midline, so almost anything can happen. Same thing with stochastics heading on down. Big difference between the fast line and the slow line. Doesn't look like it's stopping, so it's very possible we can continue down. Williams, same thing. Back up here to the price chart. Once again, the possibility is there that we continue on down. I still say the probability is that we get a reflection. I'm not sure how big it's going to be, but I think that's the greater probability, and that's what I'm sticking with. But... Be prepared to change your plans if the market doesn't want to agree with you. And for today, that's Chew Dog Charts. Thank you.